You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. We got a really special guest. We always say special guest. This is a really special guest. He was a little late, but there was a reason why he was a little late. Yeah. He couldn't find a parking spot for the Lamborghini. I'm yeah. not mad at him for that. I'm not mad at him for that. He had a park right in front of the building, but we made it work. Thank Tracy you very Morgan, much. Thank gentlemen. you. Thank you, guys. We're, we're good glad morning. You, you, you drove your most humble car here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to bring the Bugatti out. You know, you, you got potholes in New York the size of end tables, man. You hit a pothole in that Lamborghini or that Bugatti, that tingy you hearing in your engine, it is forever. Damn. It ain't never going well, away. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> now, Tracy came in here with the four-finger ring. I ain't going to front you. That's beautiful, Bonnie, brother. Thank you. That's, that make me want one at all. Oh, well, nice. ever since I saw LL... Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I always wanted one. And I got one. You got one now. <laughs> yeah, I got one. How's it been, man? It's glad to finally see you. We haven't seen you in, in such a long time. Well, We've spoken it's, to you on the phone, but we haven't had a chance to, to sit down yeah. in person. I'm so glad to be in studio with you guys because I have a lot of fun when I'm here. Yeah. And it's interesting. You always speak my interest in all of those questions and all of that. And I just been, when I was on, on a couch for like a year and a half, I was listening and watching. Word. We appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Now, I saw you on The View, man, saying that you feel funnier than ever before, and, and you said you feel like you you talked to Richard when you yeah. were on Richard Yeah, I, I, I like to say that, you know. Yeah. I was up there at the party, and God and, and Richard was there, and Lucia Ball was there, and Gleason was there, and George Garland, and then God said it was time to go. And I look back at Richard, because I didn't want to leave him, mm. and he just winked his eyes and said, stay funny. So... I took that and rolled with it. That was a real vision? Like, you really? Yeah. Wow. And I don't know you're... if I was in a coma or anything. I was highly, heavily sedated, you know, because I pulverized my femur. I broke every bone in my face, Damn. so there, it was a lot of pain. It was a lot of pain. So now, a... you are in the Richard Pryor biopic, right? Yeah, I'm That's playing Red Fox. Red Fox. I said, now Jay-Z is signed on to be You too dark to play Red Fox, Tracy. Nah. It's Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not trying to do an impression. <laughs> got you, got you. I'm trying to channel him, mm -hmm. just like Jamie did uh, Ray. Ray. He didn't do an impression. He did Ray, he did Ray or Hebron. <laughs> so that's a dark place. Right, it is. And you want to go to, you got to know how to get to that dark place. That's all emotion. That's great acting. It has nothing to do with makeup. That's great acting. If the acting is great, you'll see past that. And you'll see the aura. You'll be like, whoa. That's real. You'll see the spirit of that person. What have you been doing to prepare for Red Fox? Uh, just studying I'm, I'm, all my life. Right. Who didn't watch Sam for the Sun? <laughs> Who didn't watch Sam for the Sun? But you have to study him off the stage to know him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people, they'll provide me with footage and, you know, and introduce me to people and all those things. I'm quite sure. Oh, so you never got a chance to meet Red? Even when, I never got a chance. No, because yeah. Red was probably, Red was gone, but I knew people who did his taxes and knew him personally and Eddie and, you know, you be around people like that to tell you stories. Is that why you came in there clutching your heart? Oh, you said uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was clutching my heart because it's just a joy to be here. Word. Now, it's a joy. When you got into the, to the accident, you, you were just telling us all the stuff that you broke. I didn't know you broke that much. Your all your face. Well, a lot broke. of people didn't know. Mm -hmm. I was well they didn't insulated. Really tell that part I was well insulated. Was wow. Nobody needed to know. Wow. Nobody needed to know. Mm -hmm. Let me heal. Nobody. I know we living in an age where it's all about information. Information. How, Share no, everything. nobody needed yeah. to need, needed to know that. Right. Nobody to see needed to see no pictures of me in no coma. I don't care about none of that. Mm -hmm. And my family, my wife, and you know, I ain't having that. Mm -hmm. Ain't having that. Ain't nobody taking no pictures of nothing. Let that man heal. Damn right. Yeah, absolutely. Period. Absolutely. But people don't take life serious enough. But if you go in a coma 10 days, you'll see. You'll see. Trust me. Mm -hmm. You think about it. You think about it. You think about not being here no more. Mm -hmm. It's done. All your loved ones or your family or your enemy, you ain't never going to see them again. So I thank God I'm here. People say all the time, God is good. I say you wrong. God is everything. Mm. He good, bad, and ugly. You don't want to mess with him. If you think Satan is bad, guess who created him? Mm. So any man or woman who hasn't made his decision has already made his decision. If I would have passed in that accident, I would have been all right because I know where I'm going after this because mm. I'm a good person. I'll treat people good, and I believe. They ain't had to take no accident. I've been believing. 
I've been close to him. I just got closer. Now, that, with that said, they always say everything happens for a reason. God does yeah, everything sure. for a reason. Did, sure. Did, did you find a reason in that? My purpose, like Beyonce said, connect the dots. Right. I spread love. Mm -hmm. I spread love. I'm here to make those laugh, to be good to those, and spread love. And the times we living in now, nah. That's what God said. Go back down there and spread love, man. So that's what you enjoy doing. That, that's what the purpose That's my way of doing that. My vehicle doing that is my sense of humor. As a comedian with this election cycle. Nobody cared about my money. Nobody cared. So people came on the show and said, no, Damon Wayans all, cared. all they thinking about, <laughs> now they got 90 million. No, this wasn't, this wasn't a career shift. This was a terrible accident. Right. So when I'm on stage, people just happy to see me. All right up. They don't care about what you got or, or they don't care about that. They just happy you alive. Absolutely. Nobody wants to see nobody die no accident like that. That's a lot of steel. <laughs> Homeboy was yeah. doing 65 miles per hour Damn. with 85,000 pounds of frozen food in the back. <laughs> Damn. Damn. And he woke up at the last minute and tried to turn left. Now, you're not stopping that. Right. Only going uphill could stop something that big and that fast. That's powerful, right? Guess what stopped it that night? My friend's life. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful life is. One life could put out the sun, but we take it for granted. Mm -hmm. We don't try to help one another and do and be good to We just don't. Mm -hmm. Just don't. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did enjoy seeing you after the accident enjoying you your life. Man. You know nah, you I did. I saw you well, riding. Uh, I saw mm -hmm. you riding in something. I don't know if it was a Lambo or something. I was like, good, man. Stunt trace. You you deserve it. I'm chilling. It was the that. Rose Royce, I think it was. The Rose. Rose. That's it was what it was. Rose. 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 The Rose yep. Royce, yeah. Yeah, my wife. I bought me and my wife fan. You see how he great? He tugged in the wigs <laughs> at the fan. Oh, I'm spent <laughs> that. I'm, Bob, I'm, you know, I'm Michael Bivens with this, man. I'm Mike Bivens with this, man. I'm trying to get my waves like Michael Bivens. So you bought you and the wife a Rose? Yeah, I bought a Lamborghini. Two Rolls Royces and a Bugatti in a half hour. And a half hour. I want that. I want that. I want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the half hour was just me filling out paperwork. All, all in, in New York. Then I got the G four. Then I got the G. Oh, no, we oh, living vicariously like through you right now. I that's that's different. Tour. I did that's a whole different. tour on a private plane. <laughs> did you pay them? Did you pay them off? No, no finance and no lease. Come on, man. I don't, I don't want no <laughs> leasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With my wife for $20 million mansion, man. I'm chilling. Nice. I was reading. Um, all I need is 1500 and a new pair of kicks. All the rest of this is for my family. <laughs> all I need is 1500 and a new pair of kicks, <laughs> man. That's all I need, man. I'm good after that. I'm good after that. The rest of this is for the fam, man. God forbid anything happen to me. They good. Mm -hmm. She don't got to ask nobody for nothing. And that's what I always wanted when I got in the game. Mm -hmm. 20 something years ago when I got on TV. That's what I got in the game for. Now I got a star on the walk of Hollywood, I'm good. That's what I got in the game for, to go to the Hall of Fame and make people, millions and millions of people laugh. It was never about me, it was bigger than me. Right. Way bigger than me, way bigger than me. You know, let me tell you something. In interviews, people ask me about material. So what's your material like? You listen, man, it's like a finger, like Bruce Lee said it into the dragon, it's like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't focus on a finger, you gonna miss all that other heavenly glory. From Hollis to Hollywood, but is he good? Let's worry about the funny, cause that was the gift God gave me, not the material. The material is life. Life will provide you with that. If you're if you're aware and your third eye is open, you're conscious, mm -hmm. you'll get the material come to you. But the funny, that's why when you see and I came back to the Emmys, and I and nobody knew I was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For two months, we kept that a secret. Nobody knew I was there. And then I, I said the first funny, you see Tina Fey just, because that's like my sister, so yeah. she was just happy that the funny was still in still funny. Or... The gift, okay? He still got the gift. Okay, yeah. I was, was going to ask you that. Is it harder now because it's a different If I'd have met you in high school, you'd have been done. Oh. Pregnant? She'd been pregnant yeah, already, Yeah, that was my, my shorty. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you like them exotic types? Oh, yeah. What's exotic stuff? You. You know you're exotic. Come on, man. You know you look good. 
Yo, she looked good. That'd have been mine. Yo, come here, man. You wouldn't have never ate school lunch. I'd have sent you up to the air to get McDonald's with like ten dollars and some coupons. Go get your girlfriend some Big Macs, man. So what keeps You'd you have loved me. Word bottle took you from your man. Condom or no condom? No condom. Okay. Nah, if you ain't willing to die for it, you really don't want well, it. Gotcha. You don't yeah, want yeah, it. You don't yeah, want it. You, you had time to rip, rip open packages? Ah, you ain't want it. Ah, brother. Ah. <laughs> I that Beware of that woman who doesn't want you to wear a That's condom. right. I'm going, word bond. That means he's not using a condom. I'm making Nobody. babies. I'm trying to break Bob Marley record. You know my style? Now I don't be pulling you, out. With writing, is it, is it harder to write now? I don't be pulling out. <laughs> you got I, don't be, out. I don't pull out. What? You pulled out? Ah! <laughs> Brothers! <laughs> Ah, he ain't even in the cipher no more. He got five kids, and you talking about he pull out. Nah, 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 he's seeing him in, enough, in Africa and all of that. Not Africa, man. <laughs> you know what I did know? Where did y'all see the Maldives? You yeah, that's the what we. <laughs> My wife showed me that, but we we planning on going to Africa in December. Okay. Yeah. I'll Imagine be the first one to go back in my generation in 500 years. That's wow. Good. I'm going to curse somebody out. And then I'll stop my vacation. You, you, you going Because we <laughs> waited. We waited for y'all to come get us. You going to check out your ancestry when you get there? I already know all of that. I went on Ancestry.com. And found out. <laughs> okay, okay. What are you? I'm uh, I'm 85% Nigerian. Wow. Yeah. But I, I just found out I got a picture of my great great grandmother. She's pure Cherokee. So you 85 percent Nigerian. You from Brooklyn? I'm from the Congo. You'd have mm -hmm. been a scammer. Most African Americans. Another life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Most of us are from uh, the Congo. I want to do that 23 and Me and find out my. We got ancestry. one. You just sent them up All there. you gotta do is spit in the, the thing and send it back, and in I'm seven weeks it. you I'm get it back. It today. Find out who you are. I hey, you listen, I almost lost my life. Mm -hmm. Before I leave this earth, I want to know who I am. Word up. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We get so caught up in it every day mm -hmm. that we don't take time to just smell the roses. Trust me, go into a coma for God forbid for ten days, then come out. I thank God I'm I'm alive and I'm sane. Mm -hmm. I'm sane. I lost my man in that. Mm -hmm. So to go through all of that and be sane, still have your sanity. Thank God, you got to praise God for that. It's interesting though because you've been through a lot in your life, man. Like your brother had yeah. cerebral palsy, kidney, yeah. Your father, yeah, had AIDS, PTSD, yeah. AIDS. Your my mom, mom wasn't struggled. Around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so. my mom's had us young. Okay. She had me at eighteen. Had my brother at sixteen. So you know, I, I don't. You know, she was young, and then she had a husband that went to Vietnam, and came back with bad habits. So, big ups to my mom's. How did funny come out of that? Pain. Pain, and you know, it's embedded in me because my mother's side of the family is hilariously funny. Then my father was Richard Pryor funny. And I just, it all culminated in me as far as fame and all these things mm -hmm. and wealth and it hit me. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way it be for us. Right. For all of us. Mm -hmm. You the one. You the one. So I, I, I roll with it, but I know with that comes responsibility. And I keep my priorities in check ever since I started. Family, my relationship with G.O.D. first, me, my health, and then my family. Chauvin is way down here mm -hmm. when it comes to the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. It's down here. And God got a way of showing you, hey, okay, I'm going to put you in an accident just so you know what's what. Because you might have been, I always had that, but I might have been heading for something worse. Absolutely. Just a you reminder. You never know. Yeah, you're right. You never know. When your room is ready, your room is ready. Do you feel like you, 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 you cheated death? I don't feel like I cheated anything. I just feel it wasn't my time. Right. When he, like I just said, when your room is ready, your room is ready. Mm -hmm. I didn't cheat death. Nah. That, listen, I'm going to answer that. God giving, God taking it away. All right. Absolutely. I'm not no religious. I'm still spiritual, but I've always been that. I'm just Trey. I'm just being Trey every day, all day, like I was. Okay, I got over the trauma. I had people that helped me, my psychiatrist, my wife, all of those people helped me. Now I'm here, mm -hmm. and I'm doing funny. And that's that. Was Keep it, it was, moving. Was it an emotion you used to, though? Yo, you had listen, a lot of pain if I can be inspiration to anybody, yeah. if people could look at me and go, listen, Trey survived that, I can. Right up. And if I'm that, then fine, so be it. I'm good. Be an inspiration to others, I'm good. I love that. I'm fine with it. I'm like, I, I accept it. Now, we talked about, you know, why we do it. You said, I, I want to make sure my family is good, you know? Yeah. But now that your family is good, 
Does that still make you give you that hunger? I'm for still comedy? hungry. Why? Because I love making people laugh. Mm. I get a joy out of that. I'm still hungry. I still approach it like I ain't got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. And that was from day one. Day day one when I was on Def Jam. I ain't got nothing to lose. I go out there, I let go, and I let God. Because nobody can touch me in that world. That's my world. And I'm going to paint a picture for you. If you come see me, I'm going to take you through a journey. My show ain't no comedy show. Mine's is an experience. Because mm -hmm. I'm. you know what make us laugh? The truth. People don't laugh at lies. Lies hurt. People laugh at the truth because they can identify with it and relate with it. So before I'm funny when I get on stage, I say, what up? I say, what up? Simple. Mm -hmm. Simplicity is the key to genius. You know, knowledge of self and all those things. But when you on stage and you tell him, Richard never lied to us. He never lied. All true. Richard, why you think we loved him? Or it up. Because he never lied to us. He was that uncle that came over there and your mother said, I want you, about, I don't want you over there with him. He gave you his, your first sip of beer on his button, his butt nip. Here, take some. Go ahead, take some. Go ahead. Dude, carry up. Give me some. Give me back. He was that uncle. I'm that uncle. All right, Richard told us he got head from a About man and we like Sex, laughed. yeah. Word up. Huh? Yeah. Sex. Hey, Richard probably ate a book on stage, man. Word up. Watch still smoking. <laughs> Funniest thing in the world is when he walked the room. <laughs> Walk in the room, you got to see me bomb. I'm hilarious, even though they never, because I fight. I go all out for mine. We're bomb. I go all out for mine, man. How many times you bombed, Dre? Before I was famous, though. Yeah, yeah, if you going to bomb, you. don't do it while you're famous. Right. So you'll never see that. But when I first started, and I didn't know what it was, I had the funny was there. I just didn't know how to work the stage and hold the mic and, it was funny, you think everybody but I was has practicing things. Right. I didn't mind bombing because I already knew I had the goods, but I had to learn how to have stage presence. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to use, put the mic stand behind me and get it out the way because I can't stand with comedian comics hold the mic. You a comic? You ain't a comedian. Not a rapper, yeah. Comic means you on your way in or you on your way out. Mm. I'm a comedian. I'm a stand up comedian, and they call me a stand up because I stand up tall and I, so that, and I talk loud so the people in the back can hear me. I know I'm funny. I ain't worrying about that. Mm -hmm. But I had to learn my craft. So I spent the first two weeks learning my craft. Mm -hmm. Four months later, I was on Def Jam. Wow. That's when I met my man, Marnie Mar. Mm -hmm. Four months after going to the workshop, I was on TV. That don't happen for everybody. Oh, that's Listen, Martin, that's it's big because my man Eddie Murphy did an impression of me on TV yeah. in the world of comedy. That's big. That's, that's, yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. like Michael Jackson writing a song just for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's big. Mm -hmm. And to get love from my man, Eddie, I love you, Eddie. And he know that. I can't wait to do a movie with you. Highly anticipated. Everybody waiting. Morgan and Murphy. You got Murphy and Morgan. That? I'm quite sure he do. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. he's a genius. <laughs> he's a genius. So Martin grabbed you four months after Martin seeing you. Martin is my inspiration. Because yeah. when I first went to see Martin, four months later, I was on there. When I first to see Martin, me and my brother went to Def Jam the first season. And I said, wow, he like me. Mm -hmm. Black like me, he's talking like the stuff that I talk from where I'm from, and I want to do that. And then four months later, I was on TV. And he's doing a stand-up special again now. He did it, uncut. It's untitled. I'm on that. Yeah, I'm that's on that when you see it. That's important though, because you know guys like Martin. If it wasn't for guys like Martin, it probably would be, be guys homage. like you, because right. everybody would be trying to be clean. Before like me, Bill. the calm, no, the comedy gods. As long as I'm doing it in the spirit of those before me, mm -hmm. the Richards and the Lucia Balls and the Jackie Gleasons. As long as I'm doing it in the spirit of them, I'm protected. Point blank. Mm -hmm. I do spirit. I do. You come see me. It's not about me ripping into you because I got the mic. I don't use the stage as a bully pulpit right. to tear someone else down and make them feel bad. They didn't pay money to come see you for you to do that to them. I got enough messed up stuff about me. I can talk about me all day <laughs> long. <laughs> You got time, <laughs> so that's how I, you know, that's how I get down. I want people living, leaving there feeling good, even if it's at the expense of me. What do you think about comedians that do that? That, that, like you say, I don't they think. Roast, they roast I don't people. think. I don't think. To me, that ain't comedy. I mean, it, it, it depends on if you doing it in the spirit of those uh, Don Rickles and stuff like that. They weren't hurtful, but, but you know, in the days we living in now, hurt people hurt people. Right. So I'm not into hurting people. I'm into people feeling good. That's why I only listen to feel good music. You know, I dig in the crates. I'm that crate master. Mm -hmm. 
the unsung hero at the jam. You remember? But you riding around in the Lambo yeah, the too. jam, huh? Yeah, but I keep it good. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Because I'm riding around looking good. What you listening to? Um, on the way here, I was listening to just like music. Just like music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He said one song away. <laughs> yeah, happiness. One song away. That, that remind me, just put me back to my man. I started thinking about Kevin Hart. He was up here yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah actually, my bro. man. That's my man. It's my man. Me and him go Good back. Dude. I love him. Mm -hmm. And um, people don't know about his struggle in the game, but I do. And I just said, I hope he stay with it because he's one joke away from being who he is now. Mm -hmm. You do your thing, homie. And that's what's up. One joke away, you got to stick with it. Mm hmm I see guys out here that be having 10 and 20 women. I say, you one woman away from happiness. <laughs> <laughs> one woman away, baby. One woman, you got to stick with it. She out there. <laughs> Same thing with women. 20 men. Yeah, you one man away from happiness. Mm -hmm. One well, man, stick mind. with it. <laughs> you yeah, you going to be happy. He out there. The man that's going to love you right, he out there. Right. You got to unfold your arm oh, and welcome sorry. him in. <laughs> Let him in. Let him in. Because when you doing this, you signify. Don't enter my space. What man want to approach you? He love you already. He loved you from the last life. But you like this and God and don't don't approach me. And uh, Come on, man. Let, let the love. Remember with Pebbles and let the love, let the sun shine in. Yeah. You got to let it shine in. Pebbles still fine. You seen Pebbles lately? Pebbles, oh. Ooh. I ain't gonna speak on me. Me and Pebble go back. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pebble, 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 bedrock. We, old flame, uh, old flame. Yeah, bedrock. Yeah, Pebble. Uh, 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 Barney Bam Bam got try to start beef for me, but <laughs> got you. Yeah, you got his ass whooped. <laughs> yeah. Boy, true. Now, Bam how Bam. hard is it for you though? Like, you know, obviously you're very happily married, and you're saying just let love in, but it has to be hard because you're Tracy Morgan. So I'm sure when you've been dating, a lot of women are like, "That's Tracy Morgan." I, you know, got with him. How do you know that's the one? How do you know that's the one? How do you know if that's the one? Only you know that. I couldn't tell you I, for the way she made me feel. Mm -hmm. That's all I can speak for. You'll know when it's the one. You'll know. When that's the one. You'll know he knew. Mm -hmm. He'll know. He knows. I know. Uh -huh. We all know that's something you got to judge for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, just be patient, young lady. Because <laughs> everything in time will reveal itself. Friends, loved ones, all that will reveal itself. Mm -hmm. But you have to be patient. When you get to a certain age, you know it's a virtue. Patience has to be there. Mm -hmm. But that's something you have to develop. Right. Patience. Because, you know, just when you want to know something about somebody else, you learn to shut up. Because they can't wait to tell you mm -hmm. what they what their intent is with you, mm -hmm. what their plans are with you how they plan on treating you, but be patient, just be quiet and listen. I used to go to clubs when I was single and I'd get with a girl and I'd just listen. She'll let you know how mature she is mm -hmm. and then you go, it was nice meeting you, go this way. I never went to the clubs with intent. Mm -hmm. I'd be in the house playing my, you know, get up and dance by freedom, you know, smoke my little weed, <laughs> get, drink my little kvassi, put my cologne on. I'm going to the club just to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Not to chase nobody, not to pick nothing up. I'm just going to have a good time by myself. And when women see you having a good time, they go, wow, I want to be a part of that magic. I want to be a part of that magic. Right. You know how I many times I'm like, Babe Ruth, I don't score all the time, but I'm going to keep the ball in play. I Everything you want, as long as you stay in the right lane and keep God first, everything your pretty little heart wants will gravitate right to you. I ain't never chased nobody. It always came to me. And she got to stay in the gym. Because I'm beautiful. Shut up. She got to stay I'm, in the gym too. Listen, <laughs> no, she's good. She's yeah, good. I'm fine. She's I good. But now, I, I was going to say, I did see you one time a long time ago out by Why yourself. you ain't say nothing to me then? <laughs> but that's not You do that about true. your four kids now. The whole yeah, way, the whole I'm not way pulling you out with that. I'm not gonna lie. I want babies. I put, I put that cocoa butter on your stomach every night. <laughs> Tracy, bring me up one of them beef patties. All right. But just how you describe that, I was with my friend one time. We were in Times Square and they had this 24 hour arcade. And I remember. Tracy Morgan was That's in there. That's when me and Ghostface used to hang tight. Yeah. Oh, me and Ghost, me and Nas. That's my favorite rapper ever. Me and Ghost, me and Ghost like this. I just did a show with him That's and Ray, Raekwon. Me and Raekwon, I'm, I'm tight with all wool. I'm wool for life. I'm wool for life. But Nas is my brother. Yeah, there was a point where Nas used to come up to SNL, just hang out with me. Mm -hmm. Nas is my dude. <laughs> all of them. 
So we used to go up in that spot and yeah. do the bottles and turn it out. He Whatever. was in there with his, he took his shirt off. Oh, that's when the party crazy. started. <laughs> when Tracy <laughs> wore the shirt, <laughs> oh, the party just started. And that's how it's going down. That's just how it's going down. That's just how it went down. We were like, look, there go Tracy Morgan. He oh, you know where I got that? I got that from being little and watching my aunt and my uncle's party back in the day. <laughs> And my uncle Fatty Love, his shirt always came out and the party just started. Have you, you, you toned down on that or you still do it now? No, I'll be in bed by 9.30. <laughs> I don't get down. I ain't partied in 10 years. Not man. even on New Year's? I'm nothing? 47 years old, brother. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't drink. Not I don't do news. none of that. I've been clean like 11, 12 years now. You yeah. have a baby girl, right? Yeah, my daughter. How old? I'm about three now. Oh, she just started dance class two days ago. But that's what my world is. My wife, my sons, and my daughter. You know, I almost lost them. Mm -hmm. right. You know, that's my trauma that I suffer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's my Vietnam because I was on tour. It was called the Make It Fun, Turn mm -hmm. It Funny Tour. Because I was sitting down one day and I said, all these bad things that ever happened in my life, I'm going to turn funny. Mm -hmm. So I called my agent up and we set up a tour. and we went, I, went, I was on tour. And I remember calling Jimmy Mack the day before. I said, yo, Jim, come out with me. He said, tell me when and where. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Jim came over. We left, we used the bathroom, we left in the SUV. But that whole tour, my wife and my daughter, my daughter was 10 months. Mm. But since she was born, she was on the road with me. You know what I'm saying? She traveled the world with me already, Australia, all of that. So she was teething and I, was, I had the People magazine cover for Father's Day. So two days prior, they did a, shot, a, a cover for People magazine with me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. But she started getting a fever. So the next day, I told my wife, stay home with the baby. Cause she's teething, she had a fever. Stay home with the baby, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go drop a bag of funny, and I'll bring back a bag of money. Mm -hmm. She said, cool, and look what happened. Mm -hmm. You think about your family. Mm -hmm. So that's my trauma. So I was like, this is my wife and my kid. You know, I'm still working on it now, but I'm I just so overprotective because of that. You know, when I'm not there, I don't want nothing bad to happen. I feel like that every day. Yeah. Like a but then paranoia. that's where your faith has to come in. Mm -hmm. Your paranoia, that's a demon. And it has to be dealt with with courage and faith. Mm -hmm. Courage and faith. That you have to have. Else, though. Yeah, but you can get over it. You know, the, the other day I Listen to me. Oh, I just said the, the word I faith. I called 911. Faith. I didn't tell nobody. I called Can't do that because you destroyed them with that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You hurt them but with that. That's family. But that's that, I understand. Man. But God didn't give you, he didn't give you that to hurt you. Mm -hmm. He gave you that to settle you down and ground you and all those things. So you have to have faith in him Absolutely. that he will protect them. He will protect them. It's, it's amazing that you went out on a tour and you said- But your I'm, dad I'm, and a husband. I'm gonna take everything bad that happened to me and go out on a tour and then the worst. But that's how I've dealt with all my shortcomings and tragedies in life. You turn it funny. Yeah. That's what funny is, plaython. The happy face, sad face. Cause comedy ain't nothing but pain turned inside out. Right. Just pain turns inside out. You were one of the first comedians affected by this new sensitive area. I remember when you made the joke about and I want your son to be gay. They came down oh, hard right. on you. Yeah. Do you monitor yourself now because of that? No, I just don't have a dog in that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's other things happening in my life I could be funny about. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm not into that. They ain't never. My father wasn't like that. My uncle wasn't. I'm Chuck Chill out all day. Right. You know, my family's like that, so I carry myself like I see my uncle, my pops. I ain't in this to hurt nobody. I was just being funny. Mm -hmm. But when you're on stage testing things out, sometimes. We don't control that line of funny, 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 not funny. I don't control that. I was doing that joke for years, and all of a sudden, bam. I just thank God no one was really seriously, emotionally destroyed oh, by that, because right. that ain't my thing. That's just not, I don't want that to come back to me and my family. How I am in this world, see, my reward is not here in this world. Mm -hmm. my Lambert, my, that's not my reward. My reward is when he welcomed me back into his kingdom. Absolutely. Mm. And that's, you You get rewarded by that, by how you are with people here on the earth. Mm -hmm. Being kind, how you are here on the earth. You'll be rewarded when, when, you, when you go back to his kingdom and you see your grandparents and your parents that ain't here and your cousins and your friends that, you see them and that's my reward. Mm. That's my reward, not, not monetary. Do you feel like you actually died? Like, cause, like, did you get a glimpse of the kingdom? I was gone. Happened? Yeah, I was gone, but I don't remember that stuff. Right. People ask me, "Well, did you see her in the open?" Did you? I said, "I, I had a vision. I could have been high, cause I was very highly sedated. Mm -hmm. So I could have been out, in and out, 
but with my dad. My dad died when I was 19. I just like to say, I got to see my father again. Whether it was in a coma, sedation, or whatever, I got to see my father again. Right on. Was he chilling? Chilling. All right. Chilling. Crying. Chilling. Chilling. My dad, my pops, my best friend, gave me knowledge of self. Gave me knowledge of self. I, I, li I listened to the interview with Damon Wayans, and Damon Wayans is a good man. Great guy. He's one of the inspirations that made me want to do comedy. But as far as speaking on finances, nobody knows what's in my pocket but my wife and me and the lawyer and my business manager. Nobody on this planet. And if that were true, if it was 90 million over five years, because it's spread all over the world, that Tracy Moore got 90 million. No, nobody knows how much I got. Because that was true, Walmart would have sued the S out of me. Right. Because that was confidential. Absolutely. That was confidential. I don't discuss finance with nobody that don't sleep in my bed. Nobody don't know what's in my pockets. In the hood, you get murdered for tapping on somebody's right pocket. Up. You get catch two <laughs> things. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You a herb. I'm not the herb you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So I just keep that out the way. Mm -hmm. And when you discuss finances on stage, it separates you from your audience. That's true. Disconnects you from your audience. When I'm on stage now, there's so much love and goodwill out there for me. I do feel like the Desmond Tutu of show business. Mm -hmm. I feel like Desmond Tutu, you know? So I just want to give it back, and I'll go hard on stage. I've always been that way. Because when it's all said and done, I want to be mentioned in the lines with the Eddies and the Richards and the Jackie Gleases. Who don't? Damn yeah, right. Who don't? What you get in it for? What you get in it for? People started hating on Kev. What are you supposed to do now that he made it? Go get a regular job? <laughs> be regular? Go work yeah, at UPS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you supposed to do now? Live your life. Enjoy your life, right? Do your thing, man. You're bringing joy and happiness to a lot of folk. Simple and plain. They always talk about the recovery process. Does it ever end? No. Or we all in recovery. Yeah. All of us in the world. You think about the things you do in life. That's that's all your therapy. Uh, people say, well, do you do uh, comedy for therapy? No. Comedy is fun to me. I, if I want therapy, I just get in my car and go back to my old neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I love my old neighborhood, but it just lets me know this is where I can end up. This is where I'm from. This is where I can end up if I don't check myself before I wreck myself. Mm. Big up to Keith Murray and Eric Sherman just for no reason. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol Swan. That's we're bomb. Vex, that's vex, now, now, you really, Last master. You really like the record We Are The World, huh? I love it. I was just playing it in the Lamborghini the other day. <laughs> we are the world. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when you're down and out, and it seems to hope it all. Michael, <laughs> Michael. I, I love that, that song. that song in sign language. But that's when school. we was about things, man. <laughs> it was about things. Yeah, I saw somewhere where you said you wanted to be in that group. Like, you wanted to be singing. <laughs> you wanted to be part of Wouldn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, yeah, them legends. Didn't you want to be in Motown 25 when he did it? Them it was legends. like Bruce You know what I'm talking yeah. about, man. Look at that lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Who did when he wanted to be in there standing next to Bruce Springsteen? Hell, big man, 50 grand. Don't spend it all on one girl. <laughs> now, have you been keeping up with this election cycle? Nah. I don't deal with politics. Politics yeah. is a yeah. politrix. My, I keep my faith in God. Right. I don't put it in man. That's a sin. So you're not paying attention to Donald in that Trump coma, nothing? Huh? No Donald Trump. I don't deal with that. That's funny. not in my lane. I don't talk about it. I don't deal with it. Mm -hmm. I voted one time in my life, and that was for Dave Dinkins. And we see how that turned out. <laughs> we see how that turned <laughs> out. Dave Dinkins. What made you guys to vote that time? I voted for Dave. <laughs> Why? That was my role. I'm the one that yeah. put the doodle on Tawana Brawley. Me. It was me. <laughs> This guy I got crazy. Obama birth certificate. If you want to come to town and get me, <laughs> <laughs> holla at me. Trey Brack. You still producing that comedy for uh, FX? No, no, no. Okay. No, we moved on from that. Mm -hmm. That we plot looked on. interesting, though. Huh? What was it? The kid? Was it somebody that was in prison? Great. No, you'll see. You'll see it. I don't like to speak on future things. And to me, that's bragging. Gotcha, and I don't gotcha. want to jinx nothing. I, I just like that. for people to have a pleasant surprise when, comes, right. when they come see the movie and see the the you know the coming attractions mm -hmm. or when they see a commercial pop up. I just like it like that. Mm -hmm. I just like it like that. Let me tell you the day I got in show business. The day I got in, can I get up? 
Yeah. This is what I always wanted. Come around and see this. Come around and see this. You got to get up, Envy. This is what I wanted. From day one, I wanted to do this. This is what I wanted to do. You know what that is? Mm. It's the work of Hollywood. Mm. I just wanted oh, to do the, that. Right. right. The star. The star, right. When you put your handprints and all that. Right, right, now right, I got right. a star. I got a star in the work of Hollywood, so I'm good. Mm -hmm. That's what I always wanted to do. So when I'm long gone, and I'm long gone. Your legacy. My great, great, that's what it's all about, the legacy. The legacy, I don't wanna leave a legacy of turmoil and abuse. I can keep uh, this? No, no, no. <laughs> it says Morgan, why would you wanna wear? <laughs> He said, you can no, no, trade no, no. from the hood. You mean you're holding it too long. Come on now. But when I'm long gone, I just wanted my great, great, great grandkids to walk by and say, that's my grandfather. Dope. They could build off of that. Right. That's what I asked Kev yesterday. You know, what what does that Hollywood Walker of walk fame? Me and him fame, in the same class. Yeah. Me and him, LL, class of 2016. Mm -hmm. I just ain't put mine down yet. Oh, you I'll decide on that. You decide when you want to put it down. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah. But he was saying it's nice because you don't actually, like, people nominate you into that. It's not like, you, it's a surprise. No, people don't nominate you into nothing. You got to work. Right. But that's, I mean, he's saying it's not like something that you your work. petition no. for. It's no. just, he they, said it you got to nice. be, you got to be elected into that. Right. Mm -hmm. But it j it's all about your work. See, I'm, he's elected for performance. I'm elected for TV. Mm -hmm. So it's two different categories, different gata categories. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, his concerts and all of that. So you have to put him in there because he broke records right. with his concert tour money. But I'm in there for just years and years on your TV. Mm -hmm. Why do you think people were so emotional when it when that accident happened to me? Because that's a connection. Right. right. When you're in someone's house. Doing movies is different than being in... TV is a little bit more personable because you are literally in people's houses. I've had people think... I've had dudes get mad at me because they thought I was looking at him and his girl having sex. Dude, I'm on TV. Right. I can't see y'all. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm said just on schedule. TV. We said our schedule. Like, I got to make sure I'm home. Now, I saw you I see a few products. times. <laughs> I saw you a few times getting out the shower and all that. <laughs> but <laughs> let me tell you Shout something. TV I was watching an old episode of 30 you, Rock. Y'all predicted... I don't know if it was a prediction, but y'all predicted Bill Cosby, uh, his rape Ooh. his rape allegations. No, oh, I don't remember. Tina wrote that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Fey wrote all that. But it's like the connection with TV is like, you remember when J.J. father died? Oh, like your father man. Died. Hell and that's yeah. That's what it was. So people, you know, when you and people, I've been on TV 23 years. Right. So when people, when something tragic like that happens, people are like, what? Yo, turn that up. Yo, turn that up. Turn that up. And that's what it was. You felt Florida's pain. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, it is. But you know what I'm saying? My wife is a strong woman. She's the one that got that phone call that morning. Your yeah. husband has been in a terrible accident. Imagine that. Mm. Imagine you getting that call from your man. No, I wouldn't want to. So she's a young lady, and we had a baby, a little baby. And, right. you know, here it is. Her king is down. But the kingdom was still standing. I love what she did. She told a lot of doc a lot of them doctors, no. No. You're not putting a hole in my husband's neck. No. Mm. Two days later I start breathing on my own. But he's an entertainer. You're not putting no trachea in his neck. She just knew. She oh, know. That's she dope. Took care of daddy. And that's who you want to ride with. Damn right. When you on your back. God got a way of showing you. He'll show you how you know. How you know? Be patient. He'll show you. Right. But you have to be patient. You don't got to make no moves. You ain't playing checkers. You playing chess. Mm -hmm. It take years for some moves to be made. God will show you. If you want to know, just pray. Get close to him. God, show me. Just show me. Now, you better be strong if he show you. It might not go your way. Mm. Don't be mad. That's all a part of the plan. There you go. All a part of the plan. The accident, all that's a part of the plan. Right. God is a genius. All part of the plan. Tracy I'm a Morgan. you guy. You got all the paper now. Now I'm gonna test you. I'm gonna see if you're gonna become an a hole. You gonna do the right thing, right? You and see how you become. And I no, that ain't gonna change me as a person. I've been good people. You know me for years. You know me for years. You know me for years. I ain't never came up here on nothing crazy. Never. never. 
Where are you going to be this weekend? And he's going to be at the New York Comedy Festival. Festival Comedy Central presents Tracy Morgan. And that is Saturday, November 5th at 10.30 p.m. I do have one more question. You That's take, in November, by the way. You think all your trials and tribulations are over? Uh, I couldn't tell you that. I don't have a crystal ball, and I don't know what he has in store for me. Mm -hmm. I just know I take it day by day. I'm good. I open my curtains in the morning now. Every morning, I open my curtains, and I say, the sun is up. Even on cloudy days, it might not be out, but it's up. You know how many people went to the morgue last night? You know how many people going to the morgue right now? All right up. And that's how you that's how you gotta do it. You gotta yo listen, man. It's all to the good, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the sun is up. And there's only one true blessing in the world, and that's life. And what you do with it is on you. Right. What you do with your life is on you. God life is a business. God give you the business, but he ain't gonna manage it for you. That's on you. Right. That's on you. Just take care of yourself. Be good to others, and you'll be all right. You don't be no fool. You know, you smack me, and I'm going to smack you back. I'm from Brooklyn. It's all to the good. But I got love everywhere in the world. He used to come to me when I was in L.A. So what do you like better, L uh, L.A. or New York? Don't ask me no trick questions. You want to get beat up? <laughs> I see it's a booby trap question. You covered it with branches and leaves, and I'm supposed to step on that? <laughs> right. I got love everywhere, man. I spread love. It's way strong. Sade said it. Love is stronger than pride. Damn right. You remember? Damn Go right. home and do your homework. You used to listen to Sade. I love Sade. Have a good cry. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good cry because things been going so well for you in your life and you. Yeah, and you. Course. Sometimes you just got to have a good cry. Mm -hmm. to let you know you still got something inside of you. I cry all the time. Nobody, I don't want to see nobody suffering. One by one, we got to save each other, man. Too much beef out here, man. Just too much beef. I don't know beef. Too much negativity. Yeah. Come back to listen. Because what come around don't go around. What come around is coming back around. You can believe that. Mm -hmm. And it might not come back to you. It might come back to somebody close to you. So you live right. with it. Mm. You live with it. But you put the energy you put out into the world, it's coming back. You can believe that. Trust when I tell you. So it's all good to be good. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You ain't hurting nobody. It feels good. Just say I love you. Just say I love you. I love you. Say I love you, man. It yeah. feels good. It just does. Glad to have you back, Trace. Absolutely. Love you, man. Love you, you know my that. brother. For real. Trace Trace Morgan. Morgan. The Rocket with Trace. Wait, let me finish right telling on. you guys what I you can get tickets. I even love Scare Tactics. Uh, <laughs> I did like Scare Tactics. That was my show, too. That was fun. <laughs> Tell them when you get to the oh, G. All right, so it's Saturday, November 5th, 1030 at Carnegie Hall. And if you mm. want tickets, you can go to nycomedyfestival.com, nycomedyfestival.com. Hashtag make NY laugh. Make laugh. Now, this is my second time doing Carnegie Hall, but this is a Tracy, different Tracy Morgan doing. Mm. I've matured. Believe me, that accident, it matures you. It can mature you. If you don't want to grow up, you want to still have arrested development, you still want to do the things you did at 17. Something wrong. Watch this. Now, now let's end this with a prayer, brother. My brother. Yo, Jehovah, please watch over us. Please protect us. Please give us the strength. Please give us love. Please show us a different way in this world. Please guide us and protect us. In Jesus' name, I mean. Amen. Amen. My All right. brother Tracy. There you go. It's Tracy Morgan. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.